know here the trigonometric ratio which you have learnt in class 9 and 10 that trigonometric ratio became trigonometric function how why because it is qualifying the functions criteria what is the functions criteria that for each and every input like if we are having a over here b over here c over here d over here there will be like a unique output for each of them 1 2 3 4 5 so a is going on 1 and b is going b is even going on 1 that is allowed but a is having two different images that is not allowed right similarly here we are going to talk about trigonometric function that is sin x cos x tan x sec x cos x okay here this is trigonometric function why because it is following it is qualifying the criteria of function whatever x you will draw drop it over here that will give you a unique output it is not possible that sine 45 degree will is this one also sine 45 degree is that one also it's a number like 1 by root 2 also it it is 1 by 2 also it is root 3 by 2 also that is not possible right you already learn have learned this concept in class 10 so for each and every input there will be a unique output and that's why we are going to call it as a function so whatever will qualify the criteria of the function that is only will having the name or the surname as a function okay otherwise we cannot tell them as a function got it now here we are going to discuss about this trigonometry function in different way what is that way here we will be discussing about the trigonometric function in a unit circle what is unit circle so suppose i am taking the coordinate axis like this okay here is 0 here is 1 here is 1 here is minus 1 here is minus 1 now if you will join all the all the points Okay, here I am not, uh, I have not taken the measurements properly. That's why I am not getting a proper circle. But this is what, how we will take the measurement and this is how we will draw a circle. So let me draw a circle at first. Okay, a unit circle I have drawn. That means here it's one, here it's one, here it's minus one, and here it's minus one everywhere i have taken one one unit on all the axis coordinate axis okay this is x axis this is y axis now with the help of unit circle we will understand few concept so suppose there is a point p over here let me take different color suppose there is a point p over here and if you will join O with P, let's say the coordinate of P is A comma B. Okay. Now here, if you will drop a perpendicular like this, you will get a right angle triangle, right? Can you see? Now this is one unit because the radius of this circle is one unit. You can see everywhere. That way only I have drawn the unit circle. So that radius is one unit. Okay, so obviously OP is also a radius, one of the radius. So OP will also be one unit. Here we can see if you are taking the coordinate of P, let's say you are supposing the coordinate of P as A comma B, that means X is A and Y is B. Okay. Now suppose this angle is theta, that can we write the trigonometric ratio sine theta is equals to opposite of a hypotenuse so b by 1 that means b and cos theta is equals to adjacent that is a by 1 that is a only so can we say that b is sine theta and a is cos theta can we yes lena and izan yes ma'am yeah so instead of writing a comma b as a coordinate of b coordinate of point p i can also write that coordinate of point p is a value is cos theta 
and B value is sine theta. We can write it, right? Randomly, we are not writing. We are just going through the concept, right? So we can say the coordinate of point P is A comma B or the coordinate of point P is cos theta comma sine theta. Yeah, if we are taking this angle as a theta, then cos theta comma sine theta. And if you will be taking this angle as a X, then coordinate of this will be cos X sine X. Is it clear so far? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, when X is equals to zero, when this angle is zero, I'm going to write over here when x is equals to zero or when this angle theta is equals to zero, that means the line, the green line will be very like, it will be just on the axis only. Yes or no? Let me show you the case. Yes, Izan, I'm trying to say that this is our circle and this angle is x. Now, when x is equals to zero, this line will come closer and closer and closer to the x-axis. This line will be just coming very closer. Like it will just get this x. This is x when you are minimizing the x. Now, when it will become zero, it will just touch with this line, right? Yes or no? O, A. It will touch with O, A line axis some angle let's say axis 60 degree now axis 30 degree now axis 20 degree 15 degree 10 degree 5 degree 0 can you see okay 45 uh, 60 30 15 10 5 0 so can we say when axis 0 this op will just get touch it will just collapse with on OA, are you getting Izan what I'm trying to say? Izan, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I want to say when X is zero, we are just getting like this OP is just, it will touch with OA. Okay. And the coordinate of P, the coordinate of P, which was cos theta, sin theta, not theta, x, cos x, sin x. Here when x became zero, that coordinate here, the coordinate, what was the coordinate when we started with the unit circle? When we just started with the unit circle, can we say the coordinate over here was one comma zero? The coordinate over here is 0, 1. Here the coordinate is 0, 1. Here the coordinate is x is minus 1, y is 0. And here the coordinate is x is 0 and y is minus 1. Is it clear to everybody? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so when your x became 0, you just, the, this line landed and this landed at this point and this point coordinate already we know it is one zero and that P just collapsed and touched with A. So coordinate of A is now became the coordinate of P. That is coordinate of A was one comma zero and coordinate of P was cos X comma sin X. Here x became 0, so it became cos 0, sin 0. So can we say the value of cos 0 is 1 and the value of sin 0 is 0? Can we say? Yes, ma'am. Is it clear to both of you? Yes, ma'am. Is it clear? We have drawn a unit circle. What is the meaning of unit circle? You are taking one centimeter here, one centimeter there, one centimeter here, one centimeter here. On the coordinate axis. On the coordinate axis, this side it is positive one, this side it is negative one. 
upside it is positive one, downside it is negative one. So that coordinate will be one zero zero one minus one zero and zero minus one. Are you getting it? I'm talking about this coordinate one zero zero my zero one minus one zero and here zero minus one because it's a unit circle on coordinate axis you have taken one 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 and you have plotted a circle is it okay now when we are having when x equals to pi by 2 then your circle will look like this one. You are having this as a unit circle where you know the coordinate here is 1, 0. You know the here the coordinate will be 0, 1. Here the coordinate will be minus 1, comma 0. And here the coordinate will be 0, comma minus 1. Now the, let me draw your x and everything. This was your x. And this was your point P, whose coordinate was AB. But AB eventually we got cos X sin X. Now when X is equals to pi by 2, so here X is 0. Here X is pi by 2. Here X is pi. Here X is 3 pi by 2. And here again X is 2 pi. Because one complete revolution in the first class we have discussed in radian, it is one complete revolution is 2 pi radian. So here it's 0 radian, here it's pi by 2, here it's pi, after that 3 pi by 2 and then 2 pi. Okay. So when we are talking about x equals to pi by 2, this one. That means this like this your angle was there and now your angle from here it goes over there okay if it was 60 degree it became now 90 degree okay that means your point p will go and collapse on point b okay p p was here p just you have a stretched p and now it gone on point b so you can say cos x sin x became now cos pi by 2 sin pi by 2. That is the coordinate of P now, which is just touching with B. That's coordinate is 0, 1. So from here, we can say cos pi by 2 value is 0 and sin pi by 2 value is 1. Can you see it? Yes, ma'am. Similarly, you can check for uh, this pi when x is equals to pi. I am just writing over here only. When x is equals to pi, your coordinate will become cos, cos pi sin pi. And it will go and just collapse with just it will just it will touch point C and point C coordinate is minus one comma zero. So from there, we can say cos pi value is minus 1 and sin pi is 0. Similarly, you can check for when x is 3 pi by 2, everything came. It, it doesn't just came randomly. Everything has a reason. You have just learned in class 10 that, okay, the value of sine uh, 0 is 0. The value of sine 30 is this one. Sine 45 is this one. Now we will be also learning about the, val the same trigonometric ratio value in terms of radian. And here also the value will be same, just like that one. But here I am explaining why it became 0, 1, and all the numbers. Okay. So when we are having 3 pi over 2, then the this, this became cos 3 pi by 2 and this became sine 3 pi by 2. And here it is just touching 0 comma minus 1. So you can see that cos 3 pi by 2 value became 0 and sine pi 3 pi by 2 value became minus 1. Okay. Similarly, we can find cos 2 pi value, sine 2 pi value, which will be equals to 0, like cos 0, sine 0. Okay? 
Is it clear so far to both of you? Yes, ma'am. Now here we will see the pattern. Okay, this much we have done the uh, like uh, we have learned like how it exactly came. Here we have learned one pattern. Let me show you. Let me check. So. Can you see here cos pi by two is zero? Okay. Then cos three pi by two is zero. Can you see that value of cos pi by two is zero? Then we get got cos three pi by two also as a zero. Similarly, when you will go ahead, you will see that cos five pi by two will also be zero. similarly when you will go ahead you will see cos 7 pi by 2 will also be zero okay from here we are getting the structure like 1 pi 3 pi 5 pi 7 pi all the odd multiple of pi by 2 is getting zero for cos theta so we can say cos 2n plus 1 pi by 2 will always be zero where n belongs to any integer number you will find that when you are going in here we are going in anti clockwise direction when you will go in clockwise direction then also you will find that cos minus pi by 2 0 cos minus 3 pi by 2 0 cos minus 5 pi by 2 0 so all the odd multiple of pi by 2 you will get as a zero that's why from here we can Take the conclusion that odd multiple of pi by two for cos theta is zero, where n belongs to integer. For n, you can take two into minus one plus one. That is pi by two. So minus two plus one will be minus pi by two. Cos minus pi by two will be zero. Getting it. similarly whatever you will take at the place of n minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 any integers you will be able to get the odd number like odd number in front of pi by 2 and that value will always and always be zero similarly from the above the find conclusion we can see can you see sin pi is zero both of you can you yes, see similarly i said whatever uh, is the value here sin 0 is 0 and sin 2 pi will also be 0 because whatever is at x equals to 0 sin uh, the 2 pi angle will again coming to on x axis right hand side only so 2 pi will also be 0 so from here you will get the sequence like sin pi you can say plus minus pi sin plus minus 2 pi plus minus 3 pi plus minus 4 pi plus minus 5 pi whatever you will take the angle your sin value will become zero so from here we are taking the conclusion that sin n pi will always be zero where n is a any integer so from the above like uh, definitions explanations we got two conclusion that is odd multiple of pi by 2 for cos theta it will be zero and for sin theta like n pi will be zero where n is a integer like any integers is it okay to both of you is it clear similarly from here we can declare similarly from here we can declare that sin n pi is 0 and cos 2n plus 1 odd multiple of pi by 2 will be 0 this two thing we have taken out so on the basis of this one we can declare cosec cosec also 
cosec x yeah these things no we will be discussing in detail when we will be talking about the domain of each and every one but just an overview that cosec means 1 by sin and sin is sin and pi is zero like any integral value with pi for sin theta it's zero so we can say zero in the denominator is not acceptable so cosec will not be defined when x equals to n pi so here x must not be n pi then and only then this cosec will be defined otherwise cosec will not be defined okay because zero in the denominator for any function it's not defined i told you no while finding the domain that two things we uh, we try to avoid it one negative inside the square root sign another one is zero in the denominator so cosec x means 1 by sin x sin x value can be anything everything is fine but it must not be n pi like 1 pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi minus 1 pi like minus 2 pi minus 3 pi it must not be that value apart from that it can be anything then our cosec x will be defined is it okay yes ma'am similarly we can think about tan x sec x cot x yeah so every uh, tan x is equals to sin by cos so wherever cos is zero that we will exclude it because at, at that point our function will get undefined similarly for the sec x 1 by cos x so wherever cos x is zero we will avoid those x value then and only then our function sec x will be defined that we will be discussing when we will be discussing about the domain and ranges of the function keep in mind this thing that odd multiple of pi by 2 cos x is not defined for odd multiple of pi by 2 and sin x is not defined for any integral value like and sin x is not defined for n pi where n can be any integer okay now today we are especially focusing on uh, like uh, we will be focusing on allied angles so these are some details which you must know okay so here we we were talking about the unit circle where i told you that here p coordinate was a comma b and we have just got that its coordinate can also be written as cos x sin x when this is x okay now if you will be drawing the same line here you have taken x angle in anti clockwise direction suppose you are drawing the same angle same angle but now in clockwise direction same angle in clockwise so that will be minus x right that day i was telling you when you are taking the angle in clockwise direction it will be negative angle right yes or no yes ma'am so here this is minus x and the coordinate let's say the coordinate of p will be like uh, suppose here also x value is a and y value will be negative y value that is minus b i am taking is it okay p coordinate i am taking as a a minus b because it, it's in the fourth quadrant fourth quadrant in this here x will be positive and y will be negative you can see it yes or no yes ma'am yeah they are cos x sin x i have taken here i'll be taking cos minus x and sin minus x because our angle is minus x this time okay now can you see this a and a is not getting changed but b became minus b so from here we can say cos x is equals to cos minus x or cos of negative x 
is equals to cos x only. Negative sign will absorb with the, like when we are taking cosine angle, the negative sign inside the angle, it will get absorbed. Why it is getting absorbed? Because A and A is not getting changed when you are changing the quadrant, when you are taking changing the place in the unit circle a remain a only p coordinate was like a comma b over there here also it's a comma whatever is there okay but b is changing this b became minus b so we have to say sine of minus x will be minus sine x this thing you have to keep in mind that cos of negative x will be cos x only but sine of negative x will be minus sine x. From where are we getting? From here we are getting. B became minus B, but A and A remain same. So that's why cos x minus cos x became, it, it is already same, but this B we have to take minus B over there. So that's why not here. These two are changing the sign, the sine x and my sign of minus x. That's why we are saying that sine of minus x is equals to minus sine x. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, one thing you uh, need to understand here that just a moment. Again, unit circle here, one zero coordinate, here zero comma one, here minus one comma zero, and here zero comma minus one. This is point O. Now the chord, when we are taking a point P, we know the coordinate is cos x comma sin x. Now in this quadrant, in the first quadrant, this is the first quadrant. Okay, in the first quadrant, we know x is positive and y is positive. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. So in the first quadrant, we in the Cartesian system only, the coordinate geometry chapter, if you have done, you know in the first quadrant, x is positive, y value is also positive. So we can say in between 0 to pi by 2, this is 0 degree, this is pi by 2, pi by 2, not in degree we are taking, we are taking in radians. So zero pi by two, here pi, here three pi by two, and here again two pi. So we can say in the first quadrant, sine x is positive, cos x is positive. Hence, the rest of the trigonometric function like tan x, cot x, cosec x, sec x, all the trigonometric ratio will be positive in the first quadrant. Can we say? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Now let's move to the second quadrant. So in the second quadrant, you can see that X value is negative. X is negative. and y is positive. x means x coordinate is cos x and y coordinate is sin x. So we can say cosine will be negative in the second quadrant, but sine will be positive in the second quadrant, right? So in the first quadrant, all positive, just because sine and cos are positive, 
so uh, all the other trigonometric ratio which is related to sine and cos tan means what sine by cos if sine is positive cos is positive tan will be positive similarly cot means what cos by sine if cos is positive sine is positive it will be positive only but we have to think about the second quadrant where one of them is positive another is negative so in the second quadrant we can we know that in the second quadrant x value is negative because it's the left hand side of x and y value is the upper one so it's the positive y value now x represent cosine y represent sine so we can say that sine is positive in the second quadrant but cos is negative due to this since sine is positive cosec will be positive because cosec means 1 by sine okay and rest of the trigonometric ratio like cos is negative then sec will be negative tan means sin by cos tan means sin by cos if sin is positive cos is negative positive by negative the result will be negative only yes or no yes ma'am so the rest of the trigonometric ratio will get negative only so in the second quadrant from here we are getting the conclusion that in the second quadrant only sin is positive and just because of sin cosec is also positive so sin and cosec is positive these two are positive in the second quadrant similarly in the third quadrant when we will go we know that x is negative over here are you getting is on x is negative over here minus if forget about the unit circle and all minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 we have the coordinate like this like x uh, x on x axis we have the numbers like this and on y axis we have minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so can can you see x is negative y is negative in the third quadrant in this section can you see is on yes ma'am so in the third quadrant i am going to say x is negative y is negative that means the coordinate p where cos x cos x sin x is there both are negative cos x negative sin x is also negative so since cos x is negative it's just the uh, whatever is related to cos x that is sec x that will also be negative whatever is related to sin x that is cosec x that will also be negative what about tan and cot so tan means what sin over cos and if this is negative now if this is negative the negative negative will become positive right yes or no yes ma'am so we can say from here that in the third quadrant tan is positive okay tan uh, is positive and just because of tan cot is also positive and in the fourth quadrant in the same way if you will compare you know in the fourth quadrant x is positive and y is negative x means what cos is positive sin is negative so since one of them is positive and one is negative due to that tan and cot will be negative okay since cos is positive so sec will also be positive so why this much of whole story so that you can learn that we are having four quadrant first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant in the first quadrant all positive in the second quadrant sin positive if sin is positive cosec will automatically be positive okay so i am not telling that cosec is positive what cosec is completely dependent on sin so you have to understand if sin is positive cosec will be positive in the third quadrant tan is positive and if tan is positive cot which is the just sibling of tan so cot will be positive only in the fourth quadrant cos is positive so all all positive sin positive tan positive cos positive how to learn it 
you can take any sentence there are a lot of sentences with by with the help of which you can keep it in mind okay if you already know one of the sentence then don't take my like whatever i am going to say and if you don't know you can say or oh, add sugar to coffee add means all positive sugar means sign positive third to means tan positive coffee means cos positive okay either you can learn this method to just keep it in mind add sugar to coffee okay add sugar to coffee first second third fourth so add means all positive in the first quadrant sugar means sign positive in the second quadrant two means tan positive in the third quadrant and coffee means cos positive in the fourth quadrant okay now here i am going to tell one rule and we will be starting solving the question so here you know it's zero here you know it's pi by 2 here you know it's pi here you know it's 3 pi by 2 and here you, you know one complete revolution means 2 pi radian now on x axis on x axis what we are having zero we are having pi we are having 2 pi radian we are having these are the angles which we are having on x axis and on y axis we are having the angle pi by 2 and we are having the angle 3 pi by 2 okay so there is a rule which i am going to say now please learn that rule that on x axis these are the angle and here we know at this angle sin x is zero and here no transformation occurs after this i am just going to explain what exactly i have written on y axis these are the angle where cos x is equals to zero and here transformations occurs now the rules are let me write the rule here i am going to write sin pi by 2 plus theta first start with pi by 2 minus pi by 2 minus theta cos pi by 2 minus theta here sin pi by 2 plus theta cos pi by 2 plus theta sin pi minus theta cos pi minus theta let me write it here also here sin pi plus theta cos pi plus theta sin 3 pi by 2 minus theta similarly cos 3 pi by 2 minus theta and at last we will be having uh, about 2 pi i'll be repeating again okay just see this much so why i have written this rule that when you are having the angle 0 pi 2 pi no transformation will sin will remain sin cos will remains cos okay sin and cos will not change at what angle zero when you will be having pi 2 pi 0 like that and when you will be having pi by 2 3 pi by 2 sin will change to cos okay so here we can say that sin pi by 2 minus theta can you see it's pi by 2 and the rule says whenever you are having pi by 2 
transformation occurs. That means here we will be having cos theta. Let me write with different color. This is rule number one. This is rule number two. Okay, sine pi by two, pi by two minus theta will be cos theta. From rule number two, can you see rule number two says whenever you will be having pi by two at first, pi by two plus pi by two minus whatever. If you can see pi by two, that means transformation will occur. Transformation means sine will change to cos. At cos will change to sine. Are you getting it? Similarly, cos pi by two minus theta will be sine theta. Is it okay? Is it okay to both of you? Yes, ma'am. Similarly, again in the next one, I the second line I have written over here: sine pi by two plus theta cos pi by two plus theta. Here also transformation will occur. Sine will get changed to cos. Cos will get changed to sine. Okay, so here also we will be having cos theta, sine theta. But here we have to be careful with the sine also. Okay, sine means in in front of cos theta. Will it be plus cos theta? Will it be minus cos theta? That we need to discuss. But before that, let's fill everything, and then we will be getting back to the sine of each and every one. Okay. Similarly, in the next one, can you see Zan and Lina? Here we are having sine pi minus theta cos pi minus theta, and I said whenever we are having the angle zero pi to pi, no transformation will occur. So pi, I can see pi. I will say no transformation will occur. Sine will remain sine only. Okay, cos will remain cos only. We will be getting back to it. Okay, about the sine in front, that we will be discussing, but. Let me fill everything at first. Here also, sine pi plus theta. Pi plus first rule says whenever you see the angle pi, two pi zero, like pi plus something, pi minus something, two pi plus something, two pi minus something. No transformation will occur. Okay, so here also you can say sine will remain sine only. Just a moment. Here sine will remain sine only. Here cos will remain cos only. Three pi by two, yes, changes will occur. Sine will get changed to cos, and cos will get changed to sine. Is it clear so far to both of you? Yes, ma'am. Rule one and rule two. You can see rule one and rule two. I have just where transformation will occur, where transformation will not occur. That's what I have taken in consideration. But with that, we also have to be careful with the quadrant. in which quadrant exactly it is like we are getting these values so add sugar to coffee if you know that here let me write that all positive add sin positive sugar to tan positive and cos positive this is the rule which we have learned right now okay so we know in first quadrant everything is positive so sin pi by 2 minus theta is coming in the first quadrant so whatever it will get change it will remain positive only cos theta will be positive can you see the first one this first one can you see it yes ma'am now in the second quadrant only sin is positive in the second quadrant sugar represents sin and sin is positive and related to sin cosec is there that is positive so for the second one sin pi by 2 plus theta sin is getting changed so whatever it will give it will remain positive only we are not Concern about the result. We are concerned about which one is getting change. If that is sine, that is in the second quadrant, that will give a positive output. Okay. Now the other one, cos pi by two plus theta. Cos is negative in the second quadrant, so it will give a negative value. Getting it? Yes, ma'am. Similarly, sine pi minus theta. 
pi minus theta is can you see pi angle is this one and if you are taking pi minus theta that means still in the second quadrant in second quadrant sign is positive so whatever output it will give it will be positive only so sin pi minus theta is only sin theta similarly cos pi minus theta will be no changes will occur but sign we have to keep in mind that is in second quadrant cos will give negative output right cos is negative is it clear yes ma'am now the next one sin pi plus theta pi plus theta is in the third quadrant in the third quadrant we can see in the third quadrant it is tan tan is positive and rest of the trigonometric ratio sin and cos are negative so sin pi plus theta will be minus sin theta cos pi plus theta will be minus cos theta is it clear yes ma'am Similarly, sine three pi by two minus theta, and yeah, cos three pi by two minus theta. Here, still we are talking about the third quadrant. So in third quadrant, everything is negative except tan and cot. So it will be negative. It will be negative. So two thing we have to consider in. Uh, we have to keep in mind that where the transformation occur, the angles which is zero. pi 2 pi no transformation okay and pi by 2 3 pi by 2 will give the transformation okay now apart from these you also have you must understand that in first quadrant all is positive so everybody transformation occur or not occur it will give a positive result okay in the second quadrant sin will give a positive result only sin and cosec will give a positive result and rest of the term transformation occur or not whatever be the case in the second quadrant there will be like everything will be negative except sin and cos cosec x output sin and cosec output okay in the third quadrant tan will be positive and rest of the whatever rest of the trigonometric function is there that will give a negative output after the transformation or not transformation that we will see the rule 1 and 2 now the fourth the fourth quadrant 3 pi by 2 plus again as we know 3 pi by 2 means transformation occurs so 3 pi by 2 plus theta is there so there will be transformation but in fourth quadrant only cos is positive so sin will give a negative output and cos will give a positive output okay only cos will give a positive output rest of the trigonometric ratio will give a negative output got it yes ma'am let's start with the questions Uh, today we are not going to discuss about the uh, graph of sine and graph of cosine that we will be covering in the next class today we we are going to discuss about few questions which are related to the concept which we have discussed from the trigonometric ratio only one identity came that is cos square x plus sin square x or sin square x plus cos square x is equals to 1 okay this can also be written as sin square x plus cos square x so in your book and everywhere it will be sin square x plus cos square x that is one okay so this is one of the formula you can say or identity which came from the above one only okay now from here few two more identities came just a moment one identity which is written
like this one plus tan only this identity can also be written as sec square x minus tan square x is equals to one okay the third identity written over here as one plus cot square x is equals to cosec square x which can be written as cosec square x minus cot square x is equals to one so we are going to use this three formulas this formula okay sin square x plus cos square x is equals to one sec sec square x minus tan square x is equals to one cosec square x minus cot square x is equals to one these are the three formulas okay can you see both of you yes ma'am we are going to use this formula while solving the questions the first question is if cos x is equals to minus 3 by 5 x lies in third quadrant find the value of other trigonometric ratios find the value of other five trigonometric trigonometric ratios i am going to show this one after that we will be doing the allied angle concept because this one is very simple here cos x is given as minus 3 by 5 what you have to find you have to find the value of sin x you have to find the value of uh, cosec x sec x tan x cot x all the trigonometric ratios value you have to find okay so if cos x is given as minus 3 by 5 and now only three formula you have learned sin square x plus cos square x is equals to 1 then the other one was sec square x minus tan square x is equals to 1 then the last one was cosec square x minus cot x cot square x is equals to my is equals to 1 so those three formula we need to use over here okay cos we know and we know the formula sin square x plus cos square x is equals to 1 so cos value is minus 3 by 5 let's put it sin square x plus cos value is already given minus 3 by 5 that is square we will write as a 1 and from here by solving this equation we will get the value of sin x right let me show you 1 this 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5 square will be 9 by 25 when you will send it to other side it will be minus 9 by 25 is it clear so far is it clear izan and lina now when you will find the lcm it will be 29 25 minus 9 by 25 here sin square x is there why we are solving this because we need to find the value of sin x okay okay from here we will be getting 25 minus 9 is 16 over 25 so when you will do sin square x is equals to 16 by 25 sin x will be plus minus 4 by 5 now is it plus 4 by 5 or minus 4 by 5 how we will decide that so here it is written that x lies in the third quadrant which one is third quadrant add sugar to coffee this is first this is second quadrant this is third quadrant and we know in third quadrant tan is positive and rest are negative okay so sin will be negative which value of sin you will take plus 4 by 5 you will take or minus 4 by 5 you will take you will say sin x value is minus 4 by 5 because x is in the third quadrant is it clear to both of you is it clear to both of you am yes, i audible okay once we got sin x we know cos x easily we will be able to find the other trigonometric ratio so sec x will be 1 by cos x cos x is minus 3 by 5 so 1 by minus 3 by 
that means 5 by 3 it will become and that to minus 5 by 3. Similarly, we will be able to find cosec x also. So 1 by sin x and sin x value, we have picked the negative value. So 1 by minus 4 by 5 and that is minus 5 by 4 is the cosec x value. Okay, I'm not showing you how to do the calculation because I believe you will be able to do by yourself. Okay, right? Now, tan x we will find. That is sine by cos. Once you will write sine value, that is minus 4 by 5. And you will write co uh, cos value, minus 3 by 5. You will see everything is getting cancelled. Minus minus is also getting plus and you are left with four by three. You know, know how to do this type of calculation or do I need to show? Do I need to show? No. Or you will be able to do? You will be able to do, no? Yes, Izan? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Lina, shall I show the calculation also? No, ma'am. Similarly, you will get cot x value that is reciprocal of tan. So, 3 by 4. Okay. As I said, third quadrant means tan will be positive and cot will be positive. So, you can say all the you can see here sec is negative, cosec is negative, tan is positive, cot is positive. Okay. So this is how we will find the other trigonometric ratio when one of the trigonometric ratio is given. We have to be careful which quadrant it is talking about. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Accordingly, we will take the sign. Okay, sign means whether it will be a positive value or negative value. Accordingly, we will take the symbol. Okay, now the next question is, this type of question you will be able to do by, with the help of those three formulas. Sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Sec square x minus tan square x is equal to 1. And cosec square x minus cot square x is equal to 1. Now the next part is from the exercises sign 765 degrees value we have to find how we can find the value of 765 degree. In trigonometric ratio, you have learned the value of zero degree, 30 degree, 40, uh, 45 degree, six, uh, 60 degree, 90 degree, right? But how is it possible to find the value of 765 degree? So now only we were learning the concept that at zero pi, two pi, no transformation will occur. And at pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, transformation will occur. But with the, this 2 rule, there is also a rule which says add sugar to coffee, which declare whether the sign will, the symbol will be positive or negative. Right? These two things we have discussed already. Yes or no? So, 765, we will try to break it. First, we will try to break it in terms of 360 into something. Okay. 360 into something which is closer to 765. So, if I will be doing 360 into 2, let's see what exactly are, are we getting. 0, 2, 720 degree, right? If I am multiplying 360 degree with 2, I am getting 720 degree. How much is this 720 is less than 765? Let me check. How much more is required? So 45 degree more is required. Yes or no? So can we write this angle as sine 2 into 360 plus 45? Can we break it like this? Both of you, are you getting it? We don't yes. know how to find the value of 765 degree. We are trying to break it. Once we will see a larger number, we will always try to break it in terms of 2 pi into something or 360 degree into something. Why? Because when you will see the unit circle concept, then you know 
at two pi again it is coming back to zero zero two pi again you will just go 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 and go so all the value will start repeating itself right and there was a rule also the first rule which says at zero pi to pi the value will not change so here the multiple of 2 times 360 degree here the value will not change here 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi 8 pi uh, 10 pi 12 pi whenever you are having this type of number like 360 degree multiple of 180 if you are having the multiple of 180 like 36 360 720 any multiple of 180 if you are having then the value will not change there will be no transformation are you getting it yes ma'am no transformation means sign will remain sign only and whatever angle is there that you will copy paste as it is now whether the symbol will be positive or negative so 2 into 360 plus something means again the value like make a circle and we again start from the first quadrant okay so in first quadrant all positive so it will remain positive only are you getting sine 45 degree value we already know it is one by root two so 765 degree value was not known to us but we have broken it in such a way that we ended up getting one by root is it clear Izan, do you understand Hindi? Yes, ma'am. So, what are we doing here? When we have a big angle of 765 degree type or some big number angle, we know that after 2pi, the values of all the trigonometric ratios are repeated. That means, 180, 2pi मतलब 180 एक revolution लेगा तो 2pi आएगा फिर और एक ले लेगा तो 4pi आ जाएगा फिर और एक ले लेगा तो 6pi आ जाएगा तो ऐसा number जो 2pi 4pi 6pi ये सब का मतलब क्या होता है 180 degree like 180 degree uh, 360 degree 720 degree ये सब जो number है इसके बाद value sign का cos का सारा repeat होना शुरू हो जाता है ठीक है तो हम लोग हमेशा जब भी बड़ा सा नंबर दिया होगा उसको 360 के पास लेके जाएंगे और देखेंगे कि 360 के कौन से लाइक like, मल्टीपल से क्लोजर है ये नंबर तो मैंने देखा 362 टाइम 720 होता है 720 एक ऐसा नंबर है जो 765 के पास पास दिख रहा है ठीक है और कितना चाहिए मेरे को 720 में और कितना डाले कि 765 बन जाए तो 720 में और 45 डालेंगे तो 765 बन जाएगा। तो so, हमने क्या लिखा? 2 into 360 लिखा plus 45। अब मैंने क्या बोला था? कि ये जो ऐसा नंबर है 360 का जो भी मल्टीपल होता है, इसके बाद वैल्यू रिपीट होने लगता है, ठीक है? क्योंकि 360 मिंस व्हाट? एक कंप्लीट सर्कल बना लिया। इसके बाद वैल्यू साइन का कॉस का रिपीट होने लगेगा। फिर तुम 360 का तो हमने लिखा 2 into 360 ये जितना एंगल है ना ये पूरा वन रिवॉल्यूशन बना लिया अब इसके बाद जो एक्स्ट्रा है ना वो फिर से वही वैल्यू रिपीट होना शुरू हो जाएगा तो यहाँ पे कोई ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नहीं होता है जब भी 360 प्लस थीटा होगा 360 माइनस थीटा होगा इसमें ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नहीं होता है हम लोगों को साइन देखना पड़ता है कि कौन से क्वाड्रेंट में पड़ रहा है तो 2 into 360 प्लस है तो मतलब फिर से फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट से कहानी शुरू हो जाएगी फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट में क्या होता है सारा ऑल पॉजिटिव ऐड शुगर टू कॉफी जब तुमने लर्न किया या फिर कोई और सेंटेंस तुम लर्न करके बैठे हो तो वहां पे हम क्या जानते हैं कि फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट में सारा पॉजिटिव होता है तो जो भी हम लोग साइन जो आउटपुट देगा वो पॉजिटिव ही होगा सो साइन 45 डिग्री हमें मिला जिसका वैल्यू होता है 1 √2 आया समझ में चलो और एक क्वेश्चन करते हैं Just a moment.
So the next one is cosec minus one four one zero degree. Okay. Now what I said to you that always try to like take the multiple of three sixty. So that any any number which is closer to one four one zero should come. So closer to one four one zero. If we will try making with the help of three sixty three sixty one times three sixty two times two times we will get something around seven three times you can check three multiplied with two you will get something around six or seven then three times it something you will get around nine or ten right then four times then five times you have to just understand like you can check with few numbers also so here i am going to check with four times if four time i'll be getting bigger number very huge number then i'll be getting back to three times so 3 3 360 times 4 is what 4 0 times 0 6 4 times 24 4 carry to 4 3 times 12 130 1 340 how much far we are having from 1 4 1 0 11 4 Seven and here seventy degree. Still, we don't know the value of seventy degree, right? So let's check it three sixty five times. Are we doing it correctly? Six four times twenty four four carry two thirteen fourteen. Okay, so sorry, this is multiplication. I have not done correctly. We will be getting. Three sixty into four. Are you doing the calculation with me? Nobody is doing, no. Hmm. Three sixty. Me four se multiply karenge to kya aega? Ah, uh, one four four zero. Exactly. Ab hum dekhenge ye isse kitna aage chalega ya piche hai? Jo bhi hai, check karenge. It's not mandatory that we have to be. लाइक like, uh, हम लोगों को पीछे ही रहना है आगे का नंबर नहीं ले सकते हम लोग कुछ भी ले सकते हैं ठीक है सो वन फोर फोर जीरो मिला अब देखते हैं ये वन फोर वन जीरो से कितना आगे है थर्टी डिग्री थर्टी डिग्री का वैल्यू ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियो में तो होता ही है इसीलिए हम लोग निकाल पाएंगे थर्टी डिग्री इफ इफ वी आर गेटिंग सच अ गुड नंबर दैट इज थर्टी डिग्री प्रीवियसली वी आर गॉट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सो आगे जाओ या पीछे जाओ अगर सुंदर सा ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक टेबल का कोई वैल्यू मिल जाता है थर्टी डिग्री फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सिक्सटी डिग्री नाइनटी डिग्री तो ऑब्वियसली हम लोग लेंगे वो ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू राइट नाउ वी नो साइन ऑफ माइनस एक्स Is equals to minus sin x. Do you know that? Do you know that this rule? Yes, ma'am. Now only we have discussed uh, in like in the very beginning. If you wanna check, let's check. देखो. Sine of minus x is minus sine x. Can you see, Isan? Yes, ma'am. And cos of minus x, kya hota hai? Sif cos x hota hai. Minus sine absorb kar lete hai. Lekin sine absorb nahi karta hai. Okay? So we are going to use that rule. Ki agar sine absorb nahi karta hai, to uska ye jo sibling hai cos x, ye bhi absorb nahi karega. तो कोसेक ऑफ माइनस थीटा माइनस कोसेक थीटा हो जाएगा नाउ वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू ब्रेक इट वी कैन ब्रेक इट लाइक फोर इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी दैट इज वन फोर फोर जीरो इफ वी विल सब्रैक्ट थर्टी फ्रॉम देयर देन वी विल गेट दिस एंगल वन फोर वन जीरो इज इट क्लियर टू बोथ ऑफ यू This much yes, so far is it clear? Yes. अब मैंने क्या बोला था टू इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी वन इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी फोर इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी थ्री सिक्सटी का कोई भी मल्टीपल लो इट विल नॉट चेंज राइट सो वी विल बी हैविंग जस्ट अ मोमेंट लेट मी चेक द साइन ऑल्सो वेदर द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज ओके बट द साइन वी नीड टू चेक वेदर द साइन विल चेंज और नॉट
this complete means 360 degree. अब इसके आगे पढ़ेंगे और एक बार कंप्लीट कर लेंगे तो उसका मतलब होगा टू इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी और एक बार कर लेंगे तो इसका मतलब होगा थ्री इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी और एक बार कर लेंगे कंप्लीट रिवोल्यूशन उसका मतलब होगा फोर इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी उससे कम है फोर इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी से कम है माइनस समथिंग है तो विच क्वारेंट वी विल बी हैविंग फर्स्ट और फोर्थ एनीबडी हाँ फोर्थ फोर्थ एग्जैक्टली सो फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट में कोसेक इज पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव एड शुगर टू कॉफी कॉफी मीन्स कॉस नॉट कोसेक एड शुगर टू कॉफी इसमें ऑल पॉजिटिव इसमें शुगर मीन्स साइन पॉजिटिव साइन का जो भाई है कोसेक है ये भी पॉजिटिव इसमें हो जाएगा इसमें टैन पॉजिटिव उसका जो भाई है वो कॉट है वो भी पॉजिटिव हो जाएगा एंड दिस वन इज कॉफी कॉफी का मतलब कॉस होता है कॉस सिबलिंग इज सेक दिस टू विल ओनली बी पॉजिटिव एंड रेस्ट आर नेगेटिव सो फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट में कोसेक पॉजिटिव होगा कि नेगेटिव होगा नेगेटिव नेगेटिव होगा तो ये जो वैल्यू देने वाला है यहाँ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन तो नहीं होगा क्योंकि टू इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी टू फोर इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी जब भी थ्री सिक्सटी का मल्टीपल आता है ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नहीं होता है लेकिन लेकिन ये नेगेटिव वैल्यू देने वाला है तो ये वैल्यू जो देगा वो होगा नेगेटिव कॉस्ट थर्टी डिग्री ओके और बाहर में जो नेगेटिव है वो तो है ही वॉट इट Is it clear to both of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now we will just write the value of cos cosec thirty, and we will get the answer. If you know the value of sine thirty easily, you will be able to write the value of cosec thirty. Otherwise, I will suggest you to learn the trigonometric table by your heart. Whatever answer you will get, that will be positive answer because both negative will make it positive. Okay. Okay. cos 30 ka value you can understand like from the trigonometric table you have to learn that trigonometric table by your heart sin 30 is 1 by 2 so cosec 30 will be reciprocal of that that is only 2 right so the result will be only 2 is it clear yes ma'am now the next one one more question i am going going to take that is tan Now we are having nineteen pi by three. Okay. Now this is given in radian. Okay. The, previously we were having two. We have solved two questions, and that time we were having the angle in terms of degree. So whenever it's given in degree, we will try solving in degree only. Whenever it's given in radian, we will try to solve in radian. This one can also be solved. Like we can change it to degree and we can solve. But I would suggest you to solve it like this only, so that you will have a better understanding of like how to deal with radians. Okay. So nineteen pi by three is there. So if we will divide nineteen by three in this type of question, we will always divide it and will check. So when you will divide nineteen by three, let's do the division. Three six times eighteen. No. One, so we can write nineteen by three as six one by three, or we can also say it is six plus one by three. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. So we can yes. say nineteen pi by three can be written as yeah, nineteen pi by three can be written as six pi plus pi by three. Yes or no? From where we got? From here we got. Just by converting this improper fraction into mixed fraction, pi we have not taken while doing the changing because we know fraction like from improper to mix it is very simple. So pi later on we will add it. Is it clear to both of you? Yes, ma'am. Now I said that 
for multiple of pi like 2 pi 3 pi the even multiples of pi that is 2 3 wait if it, this 6 pi can be written as 3 times 2 pi plus pi by 3 and this tan can be kept as tan only yeah now we know that this multiple of 2 pi like previously i was telling 360 degree 1 times 360, 2 times 360, 3 times 360. This 2 pi is the same thing, right? 2 pi means what? 360 degree. So 3 into 2 pi means 3 into 360 degree. Yes or no? And here we know transformation doesn't occur, right? Here changes nahi hota hai. Previously kya bola tha? 360 ka koi bhi multiple ho, usme changes nahi hota hai. To yaha bhi to 360 type ka hi koi multiple hai. 2 pi ka matlab kya hota hai? 1 complete revolution. So, 3 into 2 pi ka 3 complete revolution. 3 complete revolution ke baad kitna extra? Pi by 3 extra. So, kaun se quadrant mein ja raha hai? First quadrant mein. Thik hai? First quadrant mein ja raha hai. Toh tan changes hoga ki nahi hoga? Obviously, changes toh nahi hoga. Tan ka tan hi rahega. But, positive mein aayega ki negative mein aayega? Wo kaise pata chalega? So, 3 times 2 pi hai. Uske upar hai. Matlab, first quadrant mein ja raha hai. Right? और फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट में कौन सा पॉजिटिव होता है व्हिच वन इज पॉजिटिव इन फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट ऐड शुगर टू कॉफी ऑल पॉजिटिव राइट यस मैम सो वी कैन राइट tan pi by 3 ओनली एंड इजीली वी कैन राइट द वैल्यू ऑफ tan pi by 3 there is a trigonometric table before this chapter also. Please go through that table from your book and then only start solving the question. Okay? From there, you will be able to understand what's the value of tan pi by 3. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now the next question, the last, very last question I'm going to take is... The next one is sine minus 11 pi by 3. We know sine of minus theta will be minus sine theta. Right, Lena? Yes, ma'am. Now 11 pi by 3 is there. So this type of question we always go and try converting in mixed fraction. So when we will convert it in mixed fraction, what we will get? 3, 3 times... 9, 2. So we got 3, 2 by 3. That means 3 plus 2 by 3. That means this can be written as 3 pi plus 2 pi by 3. Right? But do we know the value of 2 pi by 3? Still we don't know the value of 2 pi by 3. Okay? We don't know the value of 2 pi by 3. That is one of the things. And we also don't want it to be 3 pi. Because we want something 360. 360 ka multiple. Like 2 times 360, 3 times 360. Or we also want in terms of pi as a 2 pi. 2 into 2 pi. 3 into 2 pi. 4 into 2 pi. Something we want like this. We will try making it like this. If that is not at all possible, then we will think about the other possibility. So here in radian, what we are trying to make? 2 pi. 2 into 2 pi. That means 4 pi. 3 into 2 pi. That means 6 pi. 4 into 2 pi. That means 8 pi. So something like that we are trying to make. So can I write this 3 pi plus 2 pi by 3 as 4 pi, just a moment, 4 pi minus pi by 3. Can we write it like this? Because we wanted to go to either 2 pi, then 4 pi, then 6 pi, then 8 pi, something like that. So can we write it like 4 pi minus pi by 3? Let's check it. Let's check it whether it will it will give you 11 pi by 3 or not. Will it give you 11 pi by 3? Huh? 
Yes, Lena, will it give you 11 pi by 3? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So rather than going to 3 pi plus 2 pi by 3, where nothing will happen, we have to stretch a bit. We have to think about it. Okay? 4 pi when we are taking, what extra can be added? What extra can be subtracted? That you have to do the calculation by yourself in the rough part or in your mind, whatever is convenient to you. So I'm going to write it as sine 4 pi minus pi by 3. Now this 4 pi looks like the multiple of 2 pi, which we want always minus pi by 3. Now this comes in, there will be no transformation, which we know, but this comes in which quadrant first or fourth. So as we can see, it comes in fourth quadrant, right? Yes, ma'am. So fourth quadrant will give sign as a negative. So we can say minus sine pi by three. Now from the trigonometric table, which you are going to learn at first, and then you will be giving the assessment related to this allied angles. So this will be only sine pi by three and that value, sine pi by three value is nothing but 60 degree value. There you can see everything is given in radians. So that way you can connect better. That's why I'm telling you to go to trigonometric.